Also on the medical front tonight, 29 million Americans have diabetes. A quarter of a million of them are Hoosiers. It's the seventh deadliest illness in America, and those numbers continue to rise. The Now Indies Candace Avalos joins us with how more people are learning how to manage that silent disease. As the disease spreads, more and more people are finding themselves in a new position, the role of a caregiver. Taking care of a friend or family member with diabetes, we take a look at the six best practices for caregivers. Well, this is Molly, and she was um, just before her second birthday in this picture. About two months later, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. At just two years old, Krista Duncan's daughter Molly received the diagnosis. I had a little two-year-old that was perfect. And within a week, we were in Riley Hospital and being told that she had type 1 diabetes, and our whole life changed. A drastic change where Krista went from being a caregiver as a mother to a caregiver to a daughter with diabetes. But she mastered the first tip for caregivers, educating herself. I didn't have any medical background, neither did my husband. So now we're giving a shot, we're drawing up insulin, we're counting carbohydrates so much to do but you know you just you just do it the next best tip make life changes and set small goals like healthier diet changes and testing your blood sugar at certain times the third best tip from Sikoa caregiver options counselor Kate Kunk allow some time to grieve the change it's not your whole identity it's learning a new lifestyle and what's going to help you the most it's a good thing to get used to diabetes management tip number four caregivers can be on the diabetic person's medical team allowing them access to medical documents and medications needed. And tip five, caregivers, take care of yourself too. And the reason for this is obvious, I think, that um, if, if our caregivers get sick, then there's no one to take care of or help the loved one. Last but not least, tip six, find support groups such as the American Diabetes Association. It's something Krista says makes a world's difference. You need support groups at certain points along your journey with diabetes because um, going through school for the first time, understanding, you know, how to manage that, that's where we really needed the support group. Chris's daughter Molly is now 19 years old and in college where she found another support group, 20 other college kids with type 1 diabetes. And as her daughter grew up, Krista says her role as a caregiver changed. I was there to kind of be a support role, be a coach, listen more than act. A few things for caregivers not to do is be aloof about what's going on. Also, not to harass, guilt, or be fault-finding with the person they are taking care of. Candace Aviles, RTV6.